Baby. Robin means business. Hashtag Race Home is presented by Audi, Vorsprung, Dirk Technik, Fanatec, Realistic Simulation Hardware, Sony PlayStation, this is for the players, Speedpool, Premium Content for Premium Customers, Uptrend, the Lifestyle Magazine from Abt Sportsline. Welcome again to Race Home, the RCCO Charity Racing Series. Earlier again, as usual, because we have a second race this week. We have been asked to edit the world-famous Nordschleife to our schedule. And, of course, as Mike Rockefeller and myself are big fans of this famous circuit, it was clear we would do this additional race. Tom, what's your experience about this track? Great, uh, great circuit. And, of course, we use the 24-hour laid out. Uh, 25.378 kilometer long circuit. The circuit which name has very famous names like Fuchsröhr, the foxhole of course. We have Bergwerk, we have München, we have Franzgarten, and we have Zwalbenswanz. All great names for this long and very, very challenging circuit. A lot of elevation changes, a very a lot of blind spots, a lot of different grip levels, a lot of camber, a lot of negative camber and uh, you of course have the, the two famous carousel so um, for the drivers today a lot of concentration and determination is needed to come out on top we have a slightly different format today because of the length of the Nordschleife q1 q2 and q3 will be together in one race and i guess we have a couple of new viewers today as well so we would like to explain you a little bit more about the race home concept these class one cars are just pure joy to watch and to drive and now we only have to focus on the new season so let's get it started the dtm garages are currently closed for an indefinite period of time so let's turn the playstation into a race station the RCCO hashtag Race Home Charity Racing Series, based on the RCCO eSport Series. 15 cars in the field, and these two are responsible. Thomas Vogt and Mike Rockenfeller. They founded RCCO eSport AG earlier this year. The DTM champion from 2013 and the record champion of the slot car racing series RCCO. 18 titles, 106 wins former editor-in-chief of Rally Racing and also a journalist who competed in various racing events. When Mike Rockefeller will drive his DTM car again is an open question. So now, race home for a good cause. The whole world is almost standing still due to the coronavirus. Of course, also um, motorsport. There are many freelancers working in motorsport and they have been hit very hard because from one day to another they had no income anymore. They have really difficult times. Exactly those people we would like to help with our project, hashtag Race Home. We have started this project in a very, very short time together with Audi. And what makes me extremely happy is that my five colleagues from the DTM immediately said yes to join this series. So it's cool we can do virtual races on the PlayStation every week and of course for charity. To compete against our fans at uh, Race Home is obviously very, very special. And I think uh, not only for them, but also for us because you know, we get to uh, spend time together online, battling, and uh, we can learn from them from time to time. As, as you've seen in the two first events, it was actually our guest uh, drivers who won both events. So they've been really, really good on, on Gran Turismo and really getting, uh, getting on very well with the Audi Vision GT. Uh, so yeah, it was, was fun to see and looking forward to the next battles. Yeah, everything was pre pretty well so far. Um, I'm still doing it with the the radio control, uh, so uh, maybe soon I will have a, a seat pedals and uh, an helmet. But uh, even though you know it was uh, it was fun, and I think the the principle is to to be part of it 
and and so far i mean uh, it's been uh, it's been a good time so um, hopefully there is a, a bit more to to come um but not so much because for sure we want to we were going to go back on track as soon as possible the audi race home event for me has been it's been good fun. It's been nice to meet up with my team teammates. Um, obviously, I haven't seen everyone in person for a long time, so it's good to meet up with the Audi guys and raise some funds for a good cause. We received a lot of designs from all the fans. Uh, we need to choose of which one is, uh, is the best, so it's been a hard decision a few times. Uh, it's really cool to see that those fans um, really put a lot of effort in to design a car like this, uh, come up with with really nice ideas, uh, if it's uh, old school or very uh, modern kind of uh, design. Um, so yeah, it's it's been it's been fun to to choose. For me personally, a good looking racing car is always as well a fast race car. At least it has been for me the last uh, years like that. Whenever I had a good looking racing car, it was also quick. So. Uh, that for me goes hand in hand. All you need to do is to create and publish your own cool livery for the Audi e-tron Vision Gran Turismo. The weekly winner is selected by the six Audi DTM drivers who will race with you in the next Hashtag Race Home event. Hashtag Race Home has a unique and compact race format delivering exciting racing. Normally, it all starts with three short qualifying sprint races. Due to the length of the Nordschleifer, we will have just one combined qualifying race this time, with the top three proceeding directly to the semi-final. Q4 offers a last chance to get the other three spots in the semi-final. The top six contest the semi-final, another sprint race. And it all ends in the super-final, a one-lap shootout of the best two drivers. And the unique hashtag race home format worked very well in the first five races. The final corner approaches. Robin Frines has got his nose in front. Through the bus stop, he makes an absolute horrific mistake. And that hands it to Alexis Chambon. Frines is not done yet. Oh, very nearly a photo finish by a five one hundredths of a second. second There's the pit in. Dries Van Tor, I think, has done enough to be victorious in Barcelona. So as they run uphill now, you can see Jamie Green is throwing absolutely everything at it here. Can he catch Nico? Oh, not Trying to do the Jamie shadow, again. <laughs> Too far back, I think. I think you are, Jamie. I try not to do a Robin. What a shame. Go left, go left there. <laughs> Nico Muller is victorious. Uh, don't worry, man, I'm coming. No, 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 no. Express delivery. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Uh, well, apologies for the colourful language from our delivery driver okay. then, as he says. Um. Ah. Express delivery. Express means that Nico Muller leads from Christopher Haasa. Ah. <laughs> and across the timing line. Woo! Nico Muller okay, wins. congrats, congrats. After three podiums and two wins in a row, Nico Muller is leading the Drivers' Championship, while Audi Sport Ab Sportsline clearly leads the Teams' Championship, courtesy of Nico Muller and Robin Freins. It's showtime! Since round three at Interlagos, the hashtag Race Home events are also streamed by Audi Sport on Twitter and Facebook, and the interest of the fans is huge. The winner of Barcelona is back, Dries Van Tour. Last year's winner of the Nürburgring 24 Hours is driving the black WRT Audi on the Nordschleife. Just after scoring his best hashtag race home results so far with P4 at Bathurst, René Rast will not be racing today due to a clashing commitment. This is good news for all DTM fans. The Touring Car Series returns with an official test being held at the Nürburgring from June the 8th to the 11th. His nickname is Green Hell Driver and his virtual home, the Nordschleife. Will the DTM drivers be able to beat him? Also with us today again, Stefan Volta, who made the highest donation to get a place on the grid.
Welcome to a race home special on the Nordschleifer at the Nürburgring. Q1, Q2 and Q3 combined into one race with the top three going through to the semi-final. We welcome Dries Van Tor back again. We also welcome Green Hill Driver. Patrick Jasinski, who, by dint of his name, is something of a sim racing specialist here at the Nordschleifer and goes from pole position. The auction car was won by Stefan Volter, who was the winner of the design contest at Bathurst. Oh, oh Thomas, go! Roland uh, Zumsander does not get away! Got the start bug in the end. No. Oh, I got hit! Yeah. Really? Oh, oh hit. money! Oh, I was hit. Hit. Wind Shadow Man means business yeah, here. Hey, like. People have to break. Oh, sorry. Nice. That bug as well. Well, apologies for the language, but all sorts of skirmishes as we get the first of these uh, uh, races here at the Nordschleife are underway. And Mikhail Nemas really does mean business. He's up to P2, but Green Hell Driver is escaping up the road. Now, I mentioned in my introduction to this race, something of an expert at the Nordschleifer and each and every one of the drivers that is following behind in this combined Q1, 2 and 3 race really are going to have to have their wits about him to try and catch him. Go oh, Robin. Oh, sorry mate. And one man that can do that, Dries Van Tor and also uh, Robin Frein. So Frein's up to P2, Mikael Nemas is P3, Björn Skotka is uh, P4, but here comes Dries Van Tor knocking on his door. I didn't do a lap yet, so... First lap, I do. Cars at the moment still on the Grand Prix track. Yeah, Kiana, Robin, we know you. <laughs> but after this chicane, they'll be turning left rather than right to make their way onto the Nordschleifer. And here comes Robin Freins to do that right now. Oh, well done, Robin. Well done. You turned left. It's correct. You are going on the. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, Reese, sorry. No way. Almost 30 miles. As has been customary in race home series, lots of apologies for various contacts that are made. Frank Baylor, of course, is our race director, and he not only looks but listens out for the thumps that come during the course of any race as well. Traffic jam here. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, Scotty. Oh. It's like Patrick, the Green Hill driver, is a bit off the road. Come on, guys. Our presenter, Tom Christensen, offers motivation. Oh, so, in shadow. What? What? What the fuck, man? Boah, the thing lifts on the, on the Flugblatt is unreal. Oh. Apologies once again for the language. My goodness me, Mike Rockefeller is really enjoying this race on the Nordschleifer. Boy, when you come here. What a tool. Man. Oh. <laughs> Oh! See you later, man. <laughs> what a tone did you have, man? <laughs> oh, no! Oh, Lori! <laughs> oh, man, that was hilarious. I think I passed three cars there. Uh, Mike Rockefeller, may I just say, you made an absolute nose of that. Uh, surprisingly, Robin Frines now in P2 is really under pressure from Dries Vantor as we try and get back to the sensibility of the race. And may I remind you, as uh, Tom Christensen said, Green Hell driver Patrick is up the road. This is Dries Vantor concentrating hard. Oh, man. Trying Vantor back at the Nürburgring. to get Freins. Yeah. for second. Oh. <laughs> On, Greece, don't miss the breaking. Just Nemas and Muller are in a real battle for P4. Michael Nemas robbing Will the good old Nico Müller. Championship. Not that old, man. Hey, you're old. <laughs> in there. Boys. Some psychological age warfare going on live from the Nordschleifer. Nico Muller then P4, Dries Van Tor ahead of him and then ahead of them is uh, Robin Freins, who is P2 currently. Come on, Dries, send it up the inside. Yeah. Don't want to get a yellow card, eh? Dries determined to keep on the right side of Frank Bieler, but who's this coming back now? Guys, I'm coming back. Think about the toe on the Dottinger Hör. <laughs> it's only one lap. The Dottinger Hör then, and Mike Rockefeller means business as he's coming back into this battle. Two thirds around, two oh, no. thirds around. And I'm only losing time with this. Who's leading? Oh, sorry, like. I went off the road again. Quite right, difficult with Brenda. the controller. Brenda! Brenda! <laughs> 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 
Imagine you're Imagine. doing 240 in real life here. Exactly. <laughs> was I was thinking. Imagine. Oh. Man, it's fast. It's cool, huh? <laughs> Nico Muller is absolutely loving this race. Where's the leader? Up the road. He's completely gone, man. <laughs> On the thing or here already. But if you see the name, it makes sense. <laughs> you're right. It's a carousel. Oh, Ryan, you're under pressure now, friend. <laughs> and Dries Van Tour is just waiting to pick up the pieces. Guys, I need, I need the wind shadow. <laughs> but I'm, I'm closing on the wind shadow, oh. man. Yes. I'm waiting for you. I know that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mikhail Nemas running in P5. Of course he's waiting. Yeah. Pressure oh on Prince, Prince, pressure on Müller. Come on, Nico. Oh, no. Man, this looks quick, eh? It's fast, eh? <laughs> I think the pictures will be amazing. <laughs> yeah. Rocky, you are so right. No. A little bit on the grass. No. Oh. I didn't mean push physically, Nico. I meant... Um... Nico? Come on, Robin. <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> first lap I'm doing in this game. Give me a break. <laughs> uh, push him by way of your voice and uh, that's what he's doing here they are absolutely side by side this could be curtains hey, I, I don't know but that's a clear push off where are you? I, uh, I have to say Nico I think you were at fault there in the replay yeah, no so Nico he's doing the honourable thing here and he's going to give the places back but he's going to lose other places as well here comes Nemas. <laughs> oh, it's a bit tough. And also Mike Rockenfeller. Frankie, you need to look at um, Müller French. I let him go again, my friend. Yeah, hey, let him go. Rocky on the inside of Mikhail Nemas now. What a great move, Rocky. Maybe that was not so clever, huh? You mean Nico? Let's see it. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. <laughs> go, Robin. Now we're. So now Mikhail Nemas is P3, Mike Rockefeller is P2. <laughs> That's a long way, that's a long way, the wind channel oh. man is coming. So, stand by then. Man, 350. 350. 350, I'm only doing 39. And <laughs> 375. You're joking, you're joking. 375. I'm inside, I'm inside. Oh. Oh. Go on, Mikhail. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. This looks... Oh, no! Oh, no! A bit optimistic. <laughs> hey, I couldn't do anything. You? you were just spinning in front of me, Nico. A bit optimistic, huh? yeah. No, no, I you were. It was not your fault. No, no, you're no. absolved, Rocky. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, no. no, no. What a hey, that was hilarious. That was good. <sighs> that was extraordinary. Looks like the green hell driver oh. had a hell of a ride. <laughs> Man. Well, he certainly showed you lot the way round the Nordschleife, didn't he? Many congratulations to Patrick Jarzinski, the mistake. Green Hell driver. Man! Green Hell driver. Please. Um, <laughs> guys, I hope I'm right. It was the rollout now, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly. You lot are silly. Uh, let's hear from Patrick now. He's with Tom Christensen. So, progressing after a very exciting very first heat, first he had at Green Hell, we have Michael Niemers, we have Mike Roggenfeller, but the winner, and we hardly saw him, was the uh, ring fixiert, Patrick Jasinski, the Green Hell racer, congratulations. How did you enjoy it? You left them at the starting grid and we hardly saw you. <laughs> yeah, the, the boys behind me are uh, crashing each other and so I used the first two corners to get away from this uh, traffic and then I drove my race. <laughs> it was, yeah, I, I don't was fast, I, but I think Mike is the same fast as me, but uh, he was in trouble. You did very well, and um, I congratulate you for progressing, and I look forward to see your further progress. Hello, Michael. Well done on progressing. The wind shadow man. We see <laughs> always you're nice, cool, and comfortable when you're driving, but to see you now progressing on such a unique and fantastic circle like the, the uh, Nürburgring Nordschleife. You must be extremely happy. Yeah, uh, Tom, I have to say I am absolutely proud and uh, because I was on the Nordschleife with the absolute Nordschleifen cracks from Audi, which makes me feel really great, I have to say. And 
at the end, the, the wind shadow was amazing. I saw 380 kilometers per hour on my, on my uh, Tacho, and uh, that was just, just incredible. And uh, at the end, we saw that uh, nearly everybody of us missed the breaking point I because uh, we never before came there so fast. So it was just amazing, that lab. Yeah, look forward for the pr uh, further progress. It was very, very nice. Uh, but when you hit that anchor, don't do that in real life, please. And good luck on your progress, Michael. Thank you, Tom. Thanks. Well done on progressing, Mike Rockefeller. I mean, normally you do both DTM and uh, you have done a few 24-hour races at the Green Hell too. That combination, is that what brought you forward for your progress today? Well, first of all, thanks, Tom, and nice to hear your voice. Um, of course, uh, yeah, we, we drove in Le Mans together or against each other, but uh, we never had the chance to do it on the Nordschleife. I really love the track, like you say, and um, I would say it's, it's extremely fast. Uh, I made one mistake, one tactical mistake, which I was thinking beforehand quite a lot about because the wind or oh, slipstream, we always say wind shadow in this series. The slipstream is so massive here on the Dodginger Höhe, like in the real car, but here it's even more. So I thought, okay, you don't want to be the first guy there on this lap. And uh, what did I do? I overtook two corners before the straight. I overtook because there was the opportunity and then I knew it's going to be tough. I looked on my, uh, on, uh, on my speed and I was doing 340. And then Nico was saying, like, 50 meters behind me, he's already at 379. So it's amazing, the speed we do. And then it was all, you know, about the slipstream and where you position yourself. And it was good fun. I have to say, I really enjoyed it. This track is so unique and so great. I would love to, to race any race car there all the time. Make sure you check the brake pedal, maybe with the left foot next time you're going back into the very long straight. In a, and if it's the final you might have a chance of uh, making your first overall victory this time. So good luck. Thanks, Tom. Maybe you can give me a hint, you know, as my spotter. Yes, Mike Rockefeller still looking for his first victory in the Race Home Charity Racing Series, but also Michael Niemers could be the one who is on top at the end of this race because he has some experience on the Nordschleife too. Mikael Niemas has been the dominating driver of the new RCCO eSports series right from the start. The model car artist and successful slot car racer has a background in real racing too. I used to compete in bicycles races and then somehow developed a passion for motorsport through TV. I watched races, got my license and drove endurance races on the Nordschleife quite successfully. Then I got into a Formula cockpit relatively quickly in Formula BMW. There I drove against Sebastian Vettel and all the others before I decided to start my business career just doing some kart races later like winning the AVD kart trophy. Thanks to the RCCO, Mikael Niemas last winter got into eSports and is giving the Audi DTM drivers a hard time. I think eSports is mega. I find it exciting that simply everyone has the same material. That means there are no disadvantages for anybody. And that's why I think that this offers a lot of equal opportunities and therefore a very sustainable sport. But Mikael Niemas has become well known, not only because of his speed. I was in the complete wind shadow. Now I have no wind shadow. <laughs> <laughs> no wind shadow. Yeah. Kind of a toe, I would say. Kind of. Go inside. Go, uh, wind shadow. The wind shadow. <laughs> famous wind race shadow. home wind shadow. <laughs> Watch out, mate! Watch out! Uh -huh. I'm your wind shadow! I just had it in mind and I was very surprised how, how the slipstream uh, reacts for the cars, but my uh, English language memory was not coming to the word slipstream. So I, I said to the guys, wow, this is a big wind shadow. And I think this creates a little gag, a running gag out of this. So, um, now, if you see the races and you can just count how often somebody is saying wind shadow, it's, it's quite funny, yeah. 
I will win shadow. Oh my goodness, here comes Q4. Oh. And here we go, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, it's you. a tight first corner. Eh? <laughs> remember. You will not see turn two anyway, so. Uh, <laughs> for one time, they could hit you instead of me. A side by side. Uh, going from P1 is Nico Muller, and alongside him is Robin Freins. What could possibly go wrong? Stand by, because the lights are about to go out. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm Same again. I'm out. Jamie Green with strife right at the start. Nico Muller, though, with a brilliant start. Oh, that's, that's acceptable, though. Oh, you're right. OK, Robin, Can you so... Touch me? Uh, just a little nerf on the back end there, Nico, from Robin. You want to feel it again, or...? <laughs> Shut up. So, uh, that was something of an invitation, Nico. I would, uh, I would not say that if I were you. A big battle going on for P3 as well. But Nico Muller leading the way from Robin Freins and Dries Vantor means business. Dries Vantor, who's already had success here in the um, Race Home Series, is... Well, capitalising on the success that he's had, and he's already up to P3 now. So it's Muller from Freins, from Dries Vantor, then it's Björn Skotka who's running in P4, and here is uh, Dries Vantor. Then he's going to try and pursue both Nico Muller and Robin Freins. Here, a replay of the start then, and uh, Lloyd Duval managing to clatter into the uh, an apex yet in this race. stricken Jamie Green. Yeah, I noticed. Fuck. <laughs> Language, gentlemen, please. Uh. And, of course, Jamie Green having had uh, torrid luck. I think it was at the uh, Bathurst round of Race Home. Now, Robin Freins, even before they get onto the Nordschleifer, which is now, as they turn left, is uh, right after Nico Muller. So, Robin is... You need to finish where? Top two? Or? Currently, Three, I think, no. P2. Nico is leading. Nico Muller, of course, the uh, points championship leader going into this race. It's faster. Yeah, it's cool, huh? here at the Nordschleifer, and Robin Freins is pursuing him. So, for the uh, second time of asking in this special race home event, the cars are on the uh, extraordinary Nordschleifer. Some 73 turns, 33 left-handers, 40 of them are right-handers, and Björn Skotka is uh, running in P4. Stefan Volta, a very creditable P3, but being pursued by uh, Scotty now. Can Scotty get by? It's only top three that continues, right? Yes, yes. Who oh, is coming? Here comes Robin Freins then on Nico Muller. Is this a uh, fight for the uh, first place? Indeed it is. And Robin Freins goes through with a remarkably clean and tidy manoeuvre on Nico Muller. So, a change at the front then. P1 for Robin Freins, P2 for Nico Muller but you know it ain't over yet. These two really are breaking away from the rest of the pack. It's uh, still uh, Stefan Volta running in P3 and Dawn Skotka in P4 and uh, uh, Dries Vantor trying uh, from that P5 position to, to get into the uh, top knockings of the places at the moment. Still a lot of racing to come. Oh, shit. Mine, 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 mine. Every single moment you have to completely concentrate as Nico Muller is finding out. You can see there as he breaks and tries to hold on to the car. No! So much speed and he's out and he's into the Armco barriers. This could be disaster Sorry, Nico. for Nico it's Muller. Fun, like, really? Uh, that in replay yep. is how it went wrong for Nico. Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> like a beginner, <laughs> You're man. already too far ahead. On my own. Robin being so polite. I can save tires and, and fuel or oh, energy now. <laughs> ECP strategy too. So Robin is already into energy saving mode and uh, Mickey taking mode against um, Nico Muller. So Björn Skotka then picks up a penalty. He goes back to P5. That elevates Dries Vantor into P4. So it's Freins from Muller. Stefan Volta is at P3, then it's Dries Van Tor. Björn Skotka is P5. Matthias Franson P6, then it's Bettina Schurler. Six and a half seconds. No, it's not, because Loic Duval has just got past. Yeah, we'll be closing, huh? So six and a half seconds, Nico's got to make up then on Robin Freins. Like a dent the corner, basically. However, the slipstream. There is still some. Oh, now I lost, man. As we've seen from Q1, Q2 and Q3 can really change the shape of any race here on the Nordschleifer. Robin Freins then doing a very good job at the moment and maintaining that gap between himself 
in P1 and Nico Muller who is running in P2. We have heard that the speeds that can be achieved in these extraordinary Audi e-tron Vision Gran Turismo cars here on the Nordschleife up to 380 kilometers per hour, which means every single sinew of concentration needs to be utilized. And that's precisely what Robin is doing and trying to maintain that gap between himself and Nico Muller. And at the moment, Robin is doing a very good job of that. Dries Van Tor, of course, he's trying to get on terms with the car of uh, Nico Muller, which is running in P2. But Dries is in his own battle here with uh, Stefan Volta, who's doing a very good job. And the back end of the Dries car then just letting go a little bit and some valuable 100s potentially that were available to Stefan Volta, but I don't think he's been able to take advantage. As you can see, uh, Dries Vantor seems to have opened up more of a gap between himself and uh, Stefan. So uh, Dries Vantor, who we ride on board with now around this extraordinary roller coaster that is the Nordschleife here at the Nürburgring. I've had the pleasure of uh, being driven around here and my goodness me, just as a passenger, it's scary. Whatever is it like for these drivers who are pushing as hard as they possibly can through every meter of tarmac. Nico's gaining it. No, no, I made a mistake again. So Nico being very humble and trying to lull Robin into a false sense of security. But Nico does need to be much closer to Robin if he's going to take any advantage of the slipstream or wind shadow effect that can come from the Doddinger Her. There is Robin Freins. I am gaining no, nothing at all. Oh, no, 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 no. oh, and out of shape for Dries Vantor. Can he hold on to this? No, he's into the Armco. Good recovery, though, from Dries Vantor. Oh, hey, Nico, you are flying, huh? And he's holding on to that P3 place. You're still so far away. Stefan Volter in the gravel, too. Four and a half seconds. It was six and a half. <sighs> Uh, no, I made a mistake. Still corner. I'm guessing here that Robin is not believing what Nico is telling him. So Dries Vantor then with uh, problems. It's a nice view that you drive with a good thing and there's no one behind you. <laughs> Robin, now you're just rubbing it in to make Nico feel bad. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> he is just no not shadow here. Uh, close enough to be able I to see you gaining. get any form of slipstream or wind shadow off of Robin Freins. How much you have on the clock? Go on, tell us the speed. Three, five, five. Oh, yes. perhaps. It's tuning. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit disappointing. I was expecting a bigger speed than that, Robin, but Robin holds on to the car perfectly. It is uh, Robin Frying's P1, P2 is Nico Muller, and Robin is heading towards the checkered flag right now, and Robin wins on the Nordschleifer. Oh, good job, Robin. Yes. And that was very nice of Nico <laughs> to offer his congratulations to his... Uh, mm real enemy in a race home in terms of points and here comes Dries Vantor who's going to be able to uh, bring the car home in that P3 position which after that off moment is an extraordinary achievement for Dries. It must have been a hard in the mouth moment but he secures that uh, P3 place. Here comes uh, Björn Skotka then. He takes P4 and as you can see his driver coach already downloading data and P5 goes the way of uh, Stefan Volta. Well done. Scotty. The last, the, last, the, last, the last long corner and I hit, I hit the, the bumper. Oh, I'm sorry for that. No. So that uh, saved me, uh, to, 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 that let me survive the Dettinger Höhe. Yeah, <laughs> I, I took a bit speed out so, to stay behind you, but um, it was the right tactic, but it was not good performed. <laughs> <laughs> great banter and a great win for Robin Freins. Well done, Robin. Uh, a victory for you. I mean, uh, last race we saw in Bathurst, we saw you going more or less over the wall after contact with Nico Müller. So I guess it feels quite good to beat him on the on the road today and with quite a big margin as he went off halfway around the track. Yeah, true. It um, was, a, was a nice revenge to have um, after Bathurst having a bad result. Uh, fourth with Nico actually the whole lap. Um, he did he did a mistake which he normally never does. So that was my luck on my side. So um, finished with a good margin. So hopefully that will be uh, the same thing in the next races. As we know, you are training very hard normally for to, to be ready when you go back in the DTM car. So it's also good to see you racing in shorts. And in that sense, you go straight to the gym directly after your. Hopefully, 
now as you are putting yourself into being one of the favorites with the green hell man, Patrick Yasinski. Two winners and uh, second place, Nico Müller has mentioned, and Dries Fantor came up in that third position after an early off. Well done, Robin. Well done, Robin. Also from my side, congratulations. It looks like you are enjoying driving the Audi e-tron Vision Gran Turismo on the Nordschleife. And Mike Rockefeller, uh, the co-founder of this Race Home Charity Racing Series, he would like to go to this circuit again with the DTM. The Nordschleife is the longest and most challenging racetrack in the world. Boah, the thing lifts on the, on the Flugplatz is unreal. Mike Rockefeller was born not far away and would love to see the DTM return to the famous track. For sure I'm not a technician, but I don't see any reason. I think the cars are the safest you can have. Uh, I think it's much safer to race with 18 DTM cars than uh, with 200 cars in a GT3. I think the speed is a bit higher with the DTM for sure. And I think the pictures we would get and the overtakings on the Döttinger Höhe, even though it's not so many laps, it would be amazing. When I see the old cars racing there on the, or the old footage, when the cars are jumping, you know, two wheels in the air over the curbs and so on, for me that's what we need. I think we need to race there. And here comes the semi-final. Clean first corner would be nice. Patrick Jarzinski, <laughs> Green Hill driver P1, <laughs> Mike Rockefeller alongside. Right, you're okay, I will tell. Huh? I'm behind you. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> That's why, actually, I'm saying it. But by yeah, by nearly 10 p.m., you should be waking up, no? Yeah, hey, I'm fully awake. I won the last race. <laughs> He's awake and going from P4, Robin Freins, and going from P3, Mikael Nimas. Oh, what a lovely start. Woo! Boah, that was a jump start for sure. Hey, Robin! Oh, yeah, yeah, what can I do? Oh, come on! Well, Frank Baylor will be looking to see if there was any indiscretion. Was that freeze or what? No, oh, I didn't hit me. anyone. Hey. Oh, somebody hit Never me. Never had such a good start in my life. Well, somebody hit Mikael Nemas. He was on the grass, so Mikael Nemas has gone back to plum last now, I would think. And Robin Freins then concentrating. He's gone backwards as well. He's P5. And Mike Rockefeller also backwards is P3. <laughs> Uh, because Green Hell Driver is leading from Dries Van Tor. Wow, Nico, that was late. At the moment, we're on the GP track, it. of course. Sorry. Hey. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Mike Rockenfeller, uh, wow. Robin Freins, and Nico nice Muller all together. Oh. That really is the script of a thriller of a novel. Uh, so Nico Muller we're on board with right now through the left-hander. Here comes the right-hander uh, chasing down Mike Rockefeller, who's uh, P3. Dries Vantor is P2 and Patrick Zazinski, the green hell driver, is currently leading this race. We stay like this and I'm her and have fun, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think so. As they head up towards the chicane now, it's left, then right, before the left-hander, which takes all the cars down onto the Nordschleifer for this semi-final race. Oh, no, 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 no. Ch -ch -ch sorry, sorry, oh, sorry. Ch -ch 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 uh, lots of apologies already. Uh, Dries Vantor just uh, focusing on trying to keep up with... Uh, the ABS <laughs> Patrick Zarzinski, who's doing exactly as he did in his earlier showing in uh, Race Home, and that is confirming his experience and his knowledge of the green hell, the Nordschleifer here... No. ...at the Nürburgring. Went off. I saved it. Yes, in replay, here's how Robin Freins went Whoa. off. Whoa but did manage to save the car, and it ain't all over for Robin Freins yet. Of that, you can be sure. Oh. <laughs> that was hey, close. It's so hard with the control on this track. I pulled my hat off from you, man. To do this on this track, I don't know how you do it. So, using a controller, Nico Muller bows to your uh, extreme skill. Hey, man, it's too fast. <laughs> my left... I feel my like Timo Bernard. My thumb is going like... These guys are having so much fun and Mike Rockefeller is really having to defend. Uh oh, uh oh, guys, 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 sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I went off the corner before. So Robin <laughs> apologizing even before the impact. Nico, let's try to get the guy in front. Sturdy yeah. words of advice from Mike Rockefeller for he and Nico to work uh, together. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Mike, Mike, oh. Mike. Oh. Oh, Mike! Where are you? I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. Just 
I didn't touch you, huh? No, 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 not your fault. <laughs> Man. Man! I can't believe it. So, Mike Rockefeller now P3, Nico Muller is uh, P2. Of course, who is leading? It is. Oh, no. You arrived so fast. Yeah. And then the brakes are. This man, Green Hell driver Patrick Zazinski, who is, well, clearly so, so very good here on the Nordschleife. And my goodness, just look how hard he's working. And uh, he maintains that position of uh, P1 and he's building up a, a real margin of comfort between himself and uh, Nico Muller, who is now running in P2 following the uh, really rather physical battles on the earlier corners of both the Grand Prix track and the Nordschleife. Uh, this is hashtag race home and Nico Muller P2, but being pursued now by Mike Rockefeller. And the brakes, wow. So Mike Rockefeller in P3 is within sight of uh, Nico Muller. So Nico, you really are going to have to have your wits about you. And Robin Frein's, of course, trying to catch back up from that P6 position at the moment. The battle will come for P2. <laughs> this one you got good, Nico. Wah. That was Wah. mega. Eh? <laughs> I was Wah. proud of myself. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> Mike being very uh, complimentary about Nico's driving. Now you come flying. Eh? But that's the place where you don't want to have a bad exit. I'm pretty uh, sure you're right, Nico, because here comes Mike Rockefeller pursuing you. Nico Muller P2, Mike Rockefeller P3. Jump on the Is that going to stay that way, though? Because Mike Rockefeller will try and take advantage of the stream off the back of the Nico Muller car oh. to propel himself into P2, and he does it. Helped, of course. Yeah, but it's still a... You know where it counts to be. <laughs> uh, by a slight mistake there from Nico Muller. So Mike, of course, already cautious of uh, what could come at the Doddinger Ho. But now maybe I shouldn't let you go. Mamma mia. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. That's, uh... Yeah, you've got to keep there, Nico. You've got to try and keep within sights of Mike Rockefeller to take advantage. But remember what I said a little bit earlier on, Mikhail Nemes is getting closer, closer, closer. So Nico Muller is going to be the meat in the sandwich here between Mike Rockefeller, who he's trying to attack, and he's also going to have to defend, potentially, from Mikhail Nemas, who's in P4. He doesn't really like the curbs at this point. Not at all. <laughs> it's jumping like... Raze -haze. Uh, That's a technical term from Nico Muller, which is only shared between himself and his team. So, Mike Rockefeller under pressure now, because Nico is right on him. He's using the curbs, despite the fact he says the car doesn't like them, but Mike Rockefeller likes it less. Push, Mr. Nemas is coming. Yes, I have been telling you this, guys. Mikel Nemas running in that P4 place. <laughs> uh, that was a little bit of a nerf, if I'm honest with you, between uh, Nico Muller and Mike Rockefeller. So Mike knows that he's got to try and get away so that he can break the toe from Nico Muller, but Nico is uh, really, really close, and... Nico will be able to take advantage, and Mike Rockefeller is a sitting duck. Oh! Oh! oh well, I didn't expect for a thump like that Sorry. necessarily. What happened? Huh? What I happened? Was surprised by your breaking point, my friend. <laughs> I wanted to let you by, actually. Yeah, I, stayed I, on the I knew. Oh yeah. I was like, what the heck is he doing? Uh, of course I, you I did, Mike. I want to be the first again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now Nemas is coming, my friend. Oh no! 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 So what Mike was trying to do there, he's going to let Nico buy so that he would then have the advantage on the dotting a hoe, I think. I went off. <laughs> that guy cop, how stupid is that? But in the meantime, as perhaps I suggested earlier on, the one to keep an eye on is Mikhail Nemas, and he's now in this P2, oh, but he's got my Rockefeller, and he'll be defenseless here. I see you guys, like, at the end of the dotting a hoe, I just came up. Yeah, but the problem is, it's not over yet. It isn't over yet by a long shot. Here comes Nico. Oh. You know we can never make it, Abe. This is a three-way fight for P2. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hey. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Hey. <laughs> we cannot go with two by two down there, Michelle. I went on the grass. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> no, no, that was not. Nico. Huh? Michelle, what? sorry. He's that was a good fight. Go. <laughs> nein, nein, ich hab nur gesagt, alles gut. Sorry, I was just like, damn it, you made it again to the final. Yeah, it's like a, I saw you, you came to the crest and then bam. <laughs> and then I went everywhere. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyway, it was good fun. The wind shadow is really helping there. <laughs>
Hey, you went, I went, no, you passed me, I passed you, you passed me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's train. incredible how much gap I could gain in the ring yeah. shed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what an end. Uh, I never really, make it to the final. So always you see, the, the wind shadow man, yeah. <laughs> If if they do not complain, we'll anyway. So one and two, I think it's it's, it's clear. So we have the two uh, drivers for the for the final. Yeah, now we will have the the final between uh, Patrick Jasinski and against Nico Müller. Patrick, um, I would like to get you. We did, hardly saw you again. Uh, hey, hey, Tom. <laughs> nice to hear you again. Yes, <laughs> but now my. Uh, it's a little bit harder. It was uh, really, really close. I, the little, uh, when I do a little mistake, uh, they are directly behind me, I think. So it's really, really heavy. Yeah, they were fighting a lot behind you, but you were able just to ease it out and, and, and win again. And now uh, you will be up against Nico Müller. He's uh, the leader in this championship uh, so far and um, just won the last one at Bathurst too. So uh, I look forward to, to see it. But uh, Patrick, in your daily life, are you uh, driving around Nürburgring also with uh, with uh, a racing car, a road car, or, or no, no, or only on, on simulation track? Only on simulation. Have you ever driven around the track in in real life on a, in a in a in a proper car? Yes, uh, my last car was a Volkswagen GTI, and uh, I drove uh, some uh, laps with this car, and before that, some laps with an uh, old Zimbabwe Impreza. I think so, 10 or 11 laps, not more. Yeah, so that's, that's good. So maybe if you, if you win, you will allow yourself finally to, to buy yourself an Audi and then drive in a, in a proper <laughs> car around the, the track. I wish you good luck in the, in the final and uh, make sure you get around that little downhill turn one after the start with a very hot Nico Müller who wants to, to take the win away from you. I wish you good luck, Patrick. You're impressed Thanks, so far. Thanks. Thanks. The Green Hell driver on pole position for the super final of this special event on the Nordschleife with the Audi e-tron Vision Gran Turismo, which is a really special car. It has been built for the PlayStation 4 Gran Turismo by Audi. It has been also built for as a real car, as a race taxi for the Audi driving experience and for Formula E events. And we also built a slot car version of this car. But have a look yourself. version of the Audi um, Vision Grand Turismo. We just made the rollout, it's brilliant, but I definitely need some more practice in this one. This is it, the super final on the Nordschleife. I give my best. It's green versus green car. Let's get rock. Can the green hell driver make it three out of three in this hashtag race home event at the Nürburgring Nordschleife? Only time will tell. It's the one lap shootout for absolute honors in this special event from the hashtag race home series we await the lights out nico muller p2 green hell driver patrick zarzinski goes from p1 and does exactly the right thing by blocking off the inside line into turn number one 
Don Patrick Green Hellcar goes to the inside. A little bit slow on exit, but he leaves no space for Nico Müller to be able to attack so far. You're absolutely right, but Nico will come calling. On the fast left-hander, directly into the right, Green Hell. He protects his line, getting a good exit down to the Dunlop corner. This will be a terrific tussle from two titans in the hashtag race home series. The defensive line coming in, but making sure he gets still a good exit of the hill. Tom giving us uh, going towards the bit corners. His impressions then. The car looks good from behind then, but as these two drivers. Uh, enjoyable view, but not for too long. On the GP track at the moment, heading towards the Nordschleife. Oh. <laughs> Tactical move. So now behind the paddock here at the Nürburgring. Slowing fast out. Nice oh. combination between those two. Nico puts a move up to the Vidal chicane. A great move by Nico through the chicane. Puts himself in P1 now. This is first time somebody is. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, bit of contact there from the P2 driver. That was a bit early, so that's fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so both of them being very fair with each other. Oh, the draft is heavy. <laughs> oh, this I, is like draft, before, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know it, I know it. So Patrick Sarzinski then is running in P2 now, and Nico Muller is running in P1. A firm, fraught, but very fair fight so far, but there's lots of corners to come between these two now in this grand finale on the Nordschleife. I can feel you breathing, man. <laughs> so P1 and P2 so close in this uh, winner takes all shootout. Really some fire, man. Between Nico Muller and the Green Hell driver who comes calling. What? Side by side race action. Green Hell driver makes a move. No, 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 no. no. Taking the lead. And a brilliant move for then loses it into the gravel. Come on. <laughs> Just giving the advantage back to Nico. Stay focused, Patrick. You will be able to reel him back before the back screen. And there's some motivation from Tom Christensen. Come on, we need you to take Nico Müller off the first position. Come on, Patrick. So Patrick could be, I think, what would be the um, first time in the uh, Hashtag Race Home series to take uh, three out of three if he's able to get back on terms with Nico Müller and, of course, get past him. Well... All his experience here on the Green Hell, the Nordschleife, will be needed now as he does his level best. Did he pay you, Tom? To get back. Yeah. Did he oh, pay you? On terms with Nico. Nico, focus. Maybe tell us a little bit where you are, Nico. Tell me about the corners. Tell me about the handling. Give us some have, information, Mula. I have no clue, my friend. I'm somewhere at the lowest point of the circuit. Thanks. Yeah. That helps. Oh, it's and it's I have understeer. A bit of understeer. Left-hander, right-hander. Exactly. I'm going straight. <laughs> Don't do right side. Yeah, this one here I know. Trick. Yes. I've bought point. some chocolate here on the right-hand side. At, yeah, uh, you do get the best curry, uh, curry sausage. Ah, so I made a mistake with the chocolate. Ah, oh, the curry verse. The famous curry verse. Yeah, he's reeling me in, so you guys are doing a good job. Huh? Well, Nico is definitely in the target sights. Ah. Of Patrick now. Louder left. Patrick can see him. Back work. And that provides the real target. So you're about halfway around the lap. Halfway. Yep. So we're mm. coming. Which one is Mutkurve? The second left tender or already this one? Oh, no, here? no. No, the, later, the later, one later, 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 later. Yes. Listen to Patrick. He knows this place inside out. Were you going as fast with your Golf PTI, Patrick, like you were doing with the Audi Vision GT? I think the VGT is a little bit faster, though. Oh, Patrick, hold on to that car in his quest to get on terms with uh, Nico Muller, who is... Seilstrecke here we are now, no? He yes. is still leading. And, oh, Patrick, disaster. That's just what he didn't need about halfway round the track, losing more valuable time and giving that advantage to Nico Muller. So... Here is Nico, who himself has a bit of a sideways moment there and drifts it beautifully through the uh, left-hander. It was a real opposite lock moment. Well done, Nico. Held on to that nicely and provided some great sideways entertainment for us. We're grateful to you. Boy, acht. This is one of my favorite parts, actually. No! Super flowy. 
Mm, come on. No, it's over. No, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, green hell driver is having the drive from hell at the moment. It's not going well, Patrick. When are they doing the bike race there, Nico? Is that in the... Normally this year it's, it's cancelled. Yeah, sure. But normally in September or...? I think it was normally in early summer, no? Okay. I never did it. I did once. I will never do it again. <laughs> uh, how big team were you? How many were you on the team? Four. Ah, good. Uh, Nico there with a great advert for the bike race then. I'm never doing it again, he says. Come on, Patrick. We need a push. He Nine is seconds. Quite uh, a few seconds down. It's going to be a big ask, I would suggest, for... That's too uh, much risk. Patrick to get back. Yeah, and again, and again. Yeah, it's too much. What he needs is a mistake from Nico, but Nico Muller tends not to make too many mistakes. Yeah, he's gone 11 seconds now. Yeah, yeah. 12 seconds. 12 seconds is a big ask. Patrick, what's the, the very nice uh, logo you have next to you? Can you explain the viewers? What's the logo you have next to you on the wall? It's a, it's a logo of a, a, a friend of mine. Uh, he's a streamer on Twitch, a Gran Turismo streamer. And yeah. it's his uh, logo. Oh, very nice. He seems a very nice guy. He's very uh, friendly. Yes. <laughs> the logo would not... Bad necessarily indicate yeah. that but. it's just it's really a nice guy he's uh we're making some streams together grand tourism streams mm -hmm. and congrats nico brutal oh nice. nice not done yet man I yeah yeah i went I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it could still all go horribly wrong i made that mistake once in karting to celebrate one lap too early i will never do that again so Nico then is not counting his chickens before they're hatched, as we would say. But Nico Muller is in P1 and he's got such a big margin. Surely Nico has done enough to win this final. I've thrown away a nice fight. Yes, he has. Well done, Nico. Yeah, would have been nice, but uh, we'll try again. No, you have to come back. I come back. <laughs> I'll good. be back. I'll be back. <laughs> And you'll be very welcome. But for tomorrow, today it's enough, I think. I'm completely red. It's brutal. It's so warm here. Well done, Patrick. You've done a great job. Oh. Yep, I agree. First time that I drove the car ever. I buy it uh, 15 minutes before the race began. <laughs> and congratulations, Nico Muller. Yeah, you were fast, man. You would have kicked my butt if <laughs> it was a normal lap. Well done, Nico Muller. That was in Talagos in Brazil. Then we went to Australia for Bathurst. And now we're at the Green Hell, Nürburgring, and you have made it three in a row. To me, it becomes a little bit boring. What about <laughs> yourself? Even though it was a very great race against Patrick, uh, who just joined and is not a racing driver. Yeah, especially the Nordschleife one now was very, very exciting. Not only because of the track, but also because of the battles we had uh, already in the semifinal. To be honest, I got a bit lucky there this time. Uh, Michael and Rocky were fighting uh, going into the last corner and I just caught them with a mega slipstream and then I think they had slight contact and both went off so I was the, the lucky second place finisher to make it into the final again and then uh, yeah they uh, managed to have a clean lap uh, without too big mistakes and uh, bring it home. Our guest driver Patrick was super fast so I think uh, if he ha didn't have the one mistake uh, uh, on the breaking point uh, after Schwedenkreuz, I think he would have probably won today. But um, yeah, he lacked the experience from the battles in the qualifying heats where where you can really feel the uh, effect of the slipstream, which was huge on this track. So uh, you can't really blame him for that little uh, uh, outbreaking himself there because yeah, you arrive 25, 30 kph quicker than on a normal lap. And then obviously it's much more difficult to stop the car. Yeah, that was nice also to hear how you were talking to each other around the circuit even though that you were dead uh, serious about and focused but so that means you are you're not necessarily asking for any ballast or anything which we could sort of make you a little bit slower uh, before the race on next week I, to be honest i don't think it's needed i wasn't the quickest uh, around the north life uh, that's for sure but uh, yeah, you have to be at the right, right place at the right time to make it through in this very special and compact format. There's no room for, for errors. And uh, yeah, I was lucky enough the last three times to always make it into the final and then everything is possible. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I will get my, my life made hard again next time out. 
well done. Enjoyed so far. So we will not think about some electric shock in the straight <laughs> wheel yet. So, Thank uh, you. I appreciate your, your break. And I'm sure as usual with all your mates uh, and your teammates, they will do some sport around uh, wherever they are racing from home. Thank you. And all Thanks, the Tom. Thank you very much, Tom, for joining us again for Race Home. It was a great event here at the Nürburgring Nordschleife with the victory again going to Nico Müller, his third in a row. And here we see the final classification. Robin Freins has been relegated from fifth to sixth position because of his incident with Dries van Tor in the semi-final. Nico Müller, of course, leading the Drivers' Championship quite by a margin right now. And Audi Sport Team Up Sportsline has further extended its lead in the Teams Championship. Next race coming up as early as next Tuesday, as usual, at 8 p.m. Central European Summertime. And this time again, we don't know which track we will be racing on. Bye bye.